So uh, we are here in the wood shop and we want to make sure that you assemble this correctly. Now you're going to be putting this part onto the bottom part piece. So, and to do that, you want to make sure that it is centered on that bottom piece. So I will just take, take a ruler or some other measuring device. I'll take a look. Um, quick way for me to do this is I'll just come in here. I see I have a half an inch on that side. Then I'll come over here and I'll check. Uh, I got a half an inch on that side, so that's good. So I'm that way. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, I'm about 5 eighths there. And on the back side, I'm 3 eighths. So if you got a difference, split that difference. So uh, 5 eighths minus 3 eighths is 2 eighths or 1 quarter. So I need to split 1 quarter. So I have a half an inch over there and a half inch on that side as well. That gets me centered up. Now, the screws we want you to use are the uh, one and a quarter inch long. So this is one and a quarter inch long. We can confirm that here. So uh, one and a quarter inch long. It's the coarse drywall screw. We're gonna go ahead and use that in here. Notice it's a flat head. So Phillips head driver. So I'll take a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, just reach down and get that put inside. Um, now, if you're like me and you kind of mess that up, I go ahead and stick the screws in there first. So I'll put that screw in there. And we'll go ahead and put this screw in there, just make it a little easier on ourselves. Let that seat itself in the pocket. And then we can kind of come in here. Now, take your screwdriver. You're going to have to muscle this quite a bit. So it will take a little bit of doing to get this in there and get those screws down in place. Now, I want to show you something. Uh, you'll know, so if you are loose like this, then you don't have a good seat. So notice the gap here as I pull that up. So you think that you're tight, it's gone as far as you go, but if it's flopping around on you like that, you still need to get it tighter. So just get back in there and keep on going and get that nice and hand tight so that it doesn't bounce and flop around on you. Then do the same thing over with the other screw and get that driven in. So Now, again, if you've got a long Phillips extension and you wanna do this and you have an electric drill or a battery operated drill, hand drill that you wanna use, that's all right, just be careful. Uh, set your torque pretty low so you don't strip out that head of the screw because then you're going to have all sorts of problems. Um, it does take quite a bit of hand strength and elbow grease to get these screws put in there manually with the screwdriver. So, but you guys can do it. So now uh, there you go. So we're nice tight fit. It doesn't move. I do want to show you this. Notice we had mentioned before I did this on purpose. Uh, this is a project from another year's time. Notice the gaps here. So if you buggered up the ends and didn't have everything sanded nice and square, you're gonna get those gaps just like what's this, uh, what's showing here. And, and certainly that is not a desirable outcome for a project. Um, so we, Mrs. Walter Harris and I, we sanded all of those for you. So you should have a pretty nice flush fit. Or actually that is called a mate, so because you're gonna mate the bottom of this to the, uh, this surface to the face of that bottom board so and get that nice uh, nice connection there so that it looks like this on all four sides that's what you're going for and what you want so not too difficult it will take a little bit of uh, elbow grease so and pressing hard to get that driven into it but once you have it you have a nice strong joint it's not going to go anywhere add your lid and top and uh, you're pretty much ready to stain and polyurethane.